Hey, you see social media. I love talking about social media. I, I, I do. I talk to mer social media all the time with merchants, and, and, and really it, it's the confusion on, well, you know, I have this Facebook page, or I, I have this Twitter account, and I know I have to do something with it, but I, you know, what, what am I supposed to do? And some of them, right, do nothing with it. Others have somebody at their business doing something with this Facebook or Twitter, right? So I inevitably go in and say, okay, so you know, who, who's posting to Facebook right now? And the business owner always tells me, oh yeah, you know, I, I have somebody pretty good that does my Facebook. I'm like, oh yeah, who is it? Well, you know, my, co my cousin's niece, uh, you know, she just graduated college and you know, she's one of those millennials. You know, I know Dave loves hearing about millennials. And she's brilliant because she knows how to use Facebook. So she's doing great with my Facebook page. And I said, oh really? I, I couldn't really tell what your message was. What is your social media plan? Hmm? What's your escalation plan? What if someone says something bad about you and the niece is out partying somewhere? Who's re replying? You know, what's uh, your operations? How many times do you post a day? Do you comment? Do you chime in with? They're like, whoa, whoa, what's all that? It's no different that I'll bring my mom up again. She's 81. She goes to the grocery store and she writes a check. Every time she writes a check and she's great. She balances her checkbook to the penny. She's never over, she's dead on accurate, right? She does a great job. So, uh, Mr. Business Owner, would you want my mom doing your books? <laughs> Absolutely not, right? IRS is gonna come and get you if you have her doing your books. But why then would you have this kid that really, that's all they do, they know how to use Facebook, but they don't know how to do social media marketing? Why would you put that in their hands, okay? So then the next question is, okay, What's the secret behind social media? And guess what, I'm gonna tell you the secret. No, no, not only am I gonna tell you the secret, I love to tell stories, but I'm gonna act this one out. And what I tell them is I say, social media is like a cocktail party, which is why I have a prop here. So let's pretend that I'm that donut shop guy. I'm gonna put my donut shop hat on, and I'm gonna to go to a cocktail party. And my intent when I go to this party is to talk about my donut shop. But watch how I do this. Okay, I show up at the cocktail party, I get my nice craft beer with the cow jumping over Wisconsin, and I walk around and I look around and I see some cool people here and I see Mr. James Clark and I say, hey, James, how you doing? How you doing? Great, it's good, good to, to see you. you. Been too long. Yes, hey, so I heard that you joined deadmeat.com for research. Yeah. What's going on well, with that? You no, know, I heard the funeral directors were a lot of fun. Oh yeah? And, uh, and I was kind of bored. Are they kind of know. stiff? <laughs> yeah, I, I, absolutely, they, they really are. I was thinking about that one for a while. Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> All right, well, you know, I haven't had time to do anything, let alone go on Did you not get to see the Super Bowl? No. Oh, my God. Who won? That, that was great. Seattle oh. lost. It was oh. great. I, that, that Pete Carroll was just, just oh, it's oh. beautiful. I can't even begin yeah. to tell you how great I, it was. I have no time anymore, man. Just what are you doing do all day? Dude, I opened up that donut shop down the road. Really? Yeah. You? Yeah. Donut yeah. shop? We, we guy make, did social media for the NIH, the health guy is opening up a donut shop? We make oh. ha hot hand dip donuts and we, it, they're good. Huh. Sounds tasty. Yeah. I'm kind of hungry. You should come, come by one day. Well, I'll definitely do that. Cool. Well, it's good to see My you. My pleasure. Take it easy. Take care. Look at that. So not only did I ask him questions, I listened to what he had to say, I talked about something other than my donut shop, okay? Think about you doing that on social media. Now, I, then when I wanted to, I put in there that, hey, you know what, I run a donut shop, okay? So that was the good way to do it. Now I'm gonna highlight the bad way to do it, and, and you've seen business owners do this before. Okay, I show up to my party, and I know James Clark has a lot of cash, and I want him to come to my donut shop. So, I mean, James Clark, what are you doing here? Hey, good to see you. You know what, you gotta come to my donut shop. We have great deals, Tasty Tuesdays. You know what, you can come and get one free. If you, if you buy a coffee, you could, where are you going? What? Wow, what just happened there? Well, what just happened there was I was coming in, I went too strong, and I'm sell, 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 sell. How many times have you seen that on the social media page? Where all they're talking about are their tasty donuts and tasty Tuesdays and 50% off and all that kind of stuff. I did have tasty Tuesdays, by the way, and they were pretty good. But can you think about that, right? So that, in a nutshell, if you, if, if, if you go back with nothing else of how to engage on social media, just think of it, it's like a cocktail party and how you would act at a cocktail party. 
On top of that, there are ways to engage, and we talked about them before, content, great content. This is a bad example. There are, this is not good content. Remember I talked about text. Text is not engaging, not as engaging as videos and pictures. What's going on here? Would you go to this salon? Dave, Scott, James. I don't want it in my hair to be like a big gray box. I mean, they don't even have a good representative uh, timeline photo there. <laughs> However, here, our friends at the Ma Madison Chamber of Commerce do a great job. Very catchy, eye catching. Steve Case came to talk to their business owners the other day. They didn't just say Steve Case was here talking to our business owners, they actually put a picture up there. And Steve Case had a big giant check. I want to know what's going on there, so I probably will click that link. Again, engaging content. In addition to that, it doesn't just, engaging content doesn't just work for social media, it also works for, remember we talked about email. And you're gonna go back and you're gonna think about email and you're gonna send it out to your customers. You need to have an engaging story, right? This is not. Here's a, a couple bad examples of email that I got. And one of them's just links. You know, James was talking about North Koreans, they probably sent this to compromise me. Who is gonna click on links? In an email, this one is just a bunch of boring text, no call to action. However, with these great examples here, you know, let me ask you guys a question. Who here likes free stuff? No one, well, okay, all right. They're like, oh yeah, I like free stuff. And so you guys can win that iPad. Yeah, I love free stuff. And you know what? I love more than just free stuff. I love Terra coffee mugs because I want, and, and look at this, I want that. They have a great picture there. They have a call to action, click to enter. This is awesome. That's a great email right there. And again, I'm already interested in this kind of stuff, so that's why they're sending it to me. Here's another example, our Madison Chamber of Commerce friends. They decided to send their newsletter, their member newsletter out via email. And look at what they do. Nice engaging pictures, they have great headlines. Again, these are great examples of how you engage that audience via email. We talk about content on a cell phone, right? I'm gonna uh, invite James to find the phone number here. Can you find the phone number on this page? Oh, yeah, no, you can't do that. I didn't install, yeah, you can't do that. So he can't even pinch and grab to find that. Imagine if he was trying to do that while he was driving, right? Texting and driving, no good. But you know what? We want to make it easy for our, our consumers, right? Look how easy this is. Click to find me, click to call, right? Again, we want to present that content in the format on the device that is going to be successful and how people are using these devices.